Igen. Sziasztok, ez az utolsó tizenöt adás volt. Most kezdjük onnél, hogy eh, nézzünk egy jó kis eh, csúcsa. Most itt majd le is van magyarítva nektek, hogy értsétek. Én felülről autózva nem beszélek, de fel kell autózva. Na akkor kezdjük, jó? Hát régóta meg kellett volna nekem csinálni, de nem sikerült. Five ghosts caught on camera. Lady in the water. Debbie Morales and her friends are tubing down the canals of the Isabella River in Puerto Rico when she begins to record with her phone. Debbie can be heard screaming and laughing until her camera catches something in the water that quickly makes her lose her voice. Debbie posted the video to Facebook saying that she saw a scary apparition in the water. She asked friends to take a look and see if they saw the same thing in the video. And they did. Online viewers speculated that the image could be anything from the ghost of a drowning victim to a body in the water. And some even went so far as to suggest that it might be a mermaid. Hmm. Now the most bizarre part of this video is that whatever this is almost seems to lunge toward Debbie before disappearing back into the water. But what do you think? Is this just a strange trick of the light or a reflection? Or did Debbie catch something supernatural on camera? You decide. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Alexander Henderson says that throughout his life he's always been prone to sleepwalk during the night. One morning he wakes up to find his front door wide open. When he checks his security camera, he's shocked by what he finds. Alexander seems to be sleepwalking and speaking gibberish when something hanging next to the door starts swinging around on its own and an empty water jug slides right across the floor. Alexander opens the door, walks outside, and suddenly screams. He says he has no recollection of what happened to him and has no idea why he screamed. Now Alexander says he's experienced supernatural activity before, so he begins to suspect that he might have seen something paranormal while sleepwalking. Then. Only a day later, this happens. A chair moves on its own, the fridge door opens, and what appears to be a pack of plastic spoons is launched off the kitchen counter. Over the next few months, uh, nothing much happens. But then late one night, Alexander is hanging out at his friend Adam's house when he sees something truly chilling. A strange looking woman wearing a red dress appears to be watching Alexander from the building across the street. Alexander claims that when his friend Adam finally came over to see what was going on, the creepy woman had disappeared. 
While there, Adam asks Alexander to take a look at a speaker that's been acting up and might be broken. Alexander is still recording and captures something terrifying. Did you see it? In the reflection of the window, the same woman in red can suddenly be seen standing behind Alexander in the doorway. When he pans around, the woman has moved in an instant and is now standing right next to him. Who or what could this eerie looking figure be? Could it be a spirit that attached itself to the sleepwalking TikTok user? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. This next creepy video went viral on TikTok, but it was originally recorded by Indonesian Twitter user Gusta Dang. Goose explains on Twitter that he was flying from Surabaya, Indonesia to Bali and that he was the very first passenger to board the empty plane. As Goose is boarding, he records a video to send back to his wife. When he looks back at his footage, he spots something truly chilling. <laughs> Someone or something that seems to be cloaked in black can be seen moving around in one of the seats. But when Goose walks by the seat, there's no one there. Gusta Dang's video has been watched over 14 million times and many viewers believe that the strange figure in the video could be the spirit of a deceased passenger. But what do you think? Take that user Jim works at what he believes to be a haunted hospital in New Jersey. Early one afternoon, a security camera in one of the hospital's hallways captures something very creepy during Jim's shift. A supply cart can be seen rolling down the hallway on its own, freaking out the hospital staff nearby. Jim and his co-workers have no idea what could have moved the cart. But things are about to get even stranger. Another CCTV camera in the hospital's laundry room records something absolutely unnerving. Where did it from here? Oh, No way. No way. <laughs> Jim. Send me the video when you... Oh, I'm gonna. The best is when another one comes over. <laughs> it's like it, it didn't want to see the front of it. You know, it's yeah. funded so that he didn't have to look at it no more. Whoever's in their room. Oh, my God. Jim. Madeline, you didn't see... Come and look at the second one. Here comes the second one. No, the second one's moving now. No way. Watch the second one, then the second one falls off. And the lady comes in from Dude Died Night, she don't know what to say. She was like... She was on FaceTime with somebody. Oh, watch. watch the second one. Any second. <laughs> it happens. Look, here goes. It look. happens. Look. This does not happen. Look. The ghost. Her ghost. Look. look at it. Who's spinning it? It's spinning. It's spinning the cycle. It's got to be spinning. No there's way. no way Isn't that, that spin. There, there's no. I don't care if it's bolted or not. They're, they're, they don't spin like that. Mine ain't bolted in my house. Mine don't come and walk around my. That's living true. Room. <laughs> look. Look. That's true. Look. Look how that one just came out. How'd it come out like that? Mm -mm. That was pushed out. I don't yep. care what nobody says. You can tell me whatever you want. Me too. <laughs> I can't wait to show everybody. <laughs> look here. Wait. Where's the keys? Show them the thing. Look here. <gasps> look. Look at this. Look. Look. Look at this. No way. There's a ghost here. No way. I'm showing them the ghost in the back. The ghost? Oh, did you ever see what happened last night? I forgot about it. The laundry. We'll die. 
Yeah. Little guy. The laundry, all the laundry things in there, yeah. they just start moving. They just start coming out and moving and going in circles and what you call it. Uh -huh. Come and look. Yeah. But it's crazy. I never saw anything like it in my whole life. Heavy washers and dryers slide across the floor as if they weigh nothing, seemingly moved by some unseen force. Jim and his fellow hospital workers can't believe their eyes as they watch the CCTV monitor. Now, even I'm not sure just what's going on here. Could it be that the hospital is indeed haunted, like Jim says? Or just what could be spinning around multiple heavy washers all at the same time? Let me know what you think. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Haunting in Carmel, Maine. Kent Burris has been recording all of the strange supernatural activity going on in his haunted home for many years now and posting his experiences to his YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. In his latest YouTube docu-series about the house, Kent reveals some chilling, never before seen footage. <laughs> Now lately, Kent believes that the paranormal presence in his home has become much more sinister and aggressive. The haunting has become so extreme that it now seems that the spirits are actually out to hurt Kent. During a spirit box session, Kent captures a chilling message. What? What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? Did you say murder, Kent? That, that's the second time I've heard that. I would have swore. A few minutes ago, I heard them say, kill, kill Kent. And just a second ago, I would have swore I heard them say, murder Kent. Now, threats are one thing, but what happens next is downright terrifying. What the hell is that noise? no doubt that if I stepped down in that water I would have been electrocuted the heater motor was in the water and for some reason the breaker never tripped and on top of the fact that that water was splashing all over the breaker panel I have no doubt if I would have stepped down in that water I would have been dead and the only thing that saved me was remembering the voices just prior that said kill Kent murder Kent that's what stopped me from stepping down in that water. That's just weird. Kent's basement suddenly floods and high voltage lines are making contact with the water. Kent is convinced that he could have lost his life if he hadn't been so wary of the ominous threats that he had received earlier. When Kent is walking through the main floor of his home, he experiences something that chills him to his core. Oh, oh my God, what the hell? I don't care if it's snowing, I'm in my house. 
A shadow figure is standing at the top of the staircase, seemingly waiting for Kent in the darkness. Shocked by the sudden appearance, Kent has had enough for a while and just steps outside and into the cold main snow. Kent's encounters have been widely viewed by his YouTube audience and even privately investigated by paranormal groups. All believe that the house in Carmel, Maine is severely haunted by something sinister. Um, getting the chance to come in and investigate the Lamb House, it is truly an experience that I will never, ever forget. The amount of activity and interaction is just mind-blowing. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments closet space. In this next extremely spooky video from Japan, real estate agents can be seen giving a tour of an empty apartment to a potential renter. The woman is interested in renting and says that she is surprised by the low monthly price. As she tours the apartment, she records a video with her phone to review later. But when she's all alone in one of the apartment's bedrooms, things take a terrifying turn. いや、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Here's the one that looks like they open. It went off. It, it turned off. You want to walk back over there and test it? If you couldn't tell, we were just standing at the, the top of the pews, basically, and our radios just started going off, and there was voices and like a lady whispering in it, I swear to God. And nobody said hot mic. You know, because the, cause the desk radio can say hot mic over the, yeah. and it'll, it'll cut like, over it. Yeah. And it wasn't us because we would have heard each other talking. That was so sketchy. <laughs> you send that stuff to stand, dude. What seems to be the voice of a child can be heard, followed by the inaudible voices of adults. Now the radio channel that they are using is restricted to military communication, so the two men have no idea where the voices could be coming from or what they are saying. They wonder if it could possibly be the ghosts of tragic souls that passed away during the Second World War. But what do you think these voices are? And just what could they be saying? Let me know what you think.